National News Literacy Week this week, we are pulling back the curtains on the process of gathering the daily content, the news that we present to you. And recently I spoke with John Silva with the National News Literacy Project about why it is important to start teaching kids in school about what really goes into journalism. Put in perspective or context for me where we are right now in terms of consumption of media. Is, is it better, worse, the same uh, as it was uh, two years ago? I think, I think we're facing a lot of the same problems um, that, we, that we've continued to face in the last couple of years uh, with the pandemic is that, you know, the, the churn of, of falsehoods and rumors and hoaxes just, it just, it, you know, things keep repeating, new things keep popping up. Um, I think that things are just as chaotic and confusing and overwhelming as they as they have been. I mean, if people are biased or they believe in one thing, they tend to gravitate towards sources that reinforce that view. How do you combat that? Well, so a lot of that relates to um, confirmation bias, right? So it's one of the most common and in some ways most powerful cognitive biases that we all deal with, right? It's this idea that if we if we hear something that agrees with us in some way, we're we're more likely to just accept it without really thinking about it. Um, and if it disagrees, sort of rejecting it out of hand. And it's it's it is so very common that we're not really aware of it. It's really important to sort of talk about like teaching kids to think about how they think. And we can do the same thing with adults. And sometimes when you just put a, a label and a description on something on a behavior like that, it makes them more aware of it. And when people become more aware of things like that, especially when they realize how that can be exploited and can be used to manipulate them, um, it makes them a little more um, skeptical about the information they receive. It sort of sounds like everyone could use a, a journalism class in their life at some point along the way, <laughs> particularly young students. Uh, they, they can use that, they can carry that with them uh, for really the rest of their lives. Absolutely, especially when you think about um, one of the biggest things that I think adults struggle with, and we don't often realize it, is that the difference between news, which is um, just which is supposed to inform us about things that are going on, and kind of everything else, you know, opinion things that are trying to, you know, all the persuasion that's out there, the propaganda that's trying to rile us up. Being able to recognize that the that news is out there has always been out there, that there are there are professional journalists and news organizations that have that continue to do it. They've been doing it for many, many years. It's just about learning what those what the standards of quality journalism are so that we can know what to look for. And I think understanding the background of journalism would go a long way towards helping with that. Is that part of the solution to, to give people the opportunity to see how news and information is collected uh, when it comes to you know, professionals doing it and striving to do it the, uh, their, their best possible honest uh, way? Absolutely. Uh, I think that's a, it's going to be a major part of the solution because if, if you think of it from the, from the, the perspective of education, um, you know, most adults today, um, they they probably have a preferred news organization or news outlet, but they've never really learned what journalism is and how it works. They don't understand a lot of the things that go on behind the scenes in a newsroom with journalists and editors and fact checkers and copy editors and the standards and practices that are so vital to, uh, to you know, reputable ethical news uh, reporting. So I think it's really important for us to kind of peel back the, the curtain a little bit um, so that people can actually see like the, just the incredible amount of work that goes into uh, reporting events and, and trying to bring clarity to things that are very confusing.